What's up, everyone? How are we doing? So, today, I have a task. I have a task. I need to team build around Zamazenta. For the sake of a collaboration, for the sake of a collaboration, I need to team build around Zamazenta. So we're going to do just that. Got my damage calc open. By the way, shout out to the glow up Picolytics has had. Like, honestly, I already love Picolytics. I've, I think they're phenomenal. But look at this. Look at all the data you can get here. Damage calc articles. You can go to a random page. Look, now we know Absol usage. Why is it so bad? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So the question is, which Zamazenta? Do you guys like your Zamazenta with or without the crust? That's my question for you guys. Do we build Zamazenta with or without the crust? The shielded form kind of bad, but it does have that steel typing. Crust has always been the one I liked more. No crust. Crust is kind of not kind of. Yeah. Um... I don't know. If Zamazenta got Swords Dance, it would actually be somewhat usable in my opinion. But it doesn't. It gets Work Up. Which is trash. Can I get a Boneless Zamazenta? Possibly. We're considering running Boneless Zamazenta. You know what? Let's do Boneless Zamazenta. I'm down. I'm down to do Boneless Zamazenta. Dude, if this thing got Body Press, it'd be actually pretty good, but... Nah. Alright. Let's do it. For the for the sake of, of a video title, Boneless Zamazenta sounds pretty good. Alright, obviously we want to run close combat. Okay. Calyrex Shadow, how do we already find the one matchup that I forgot to account for? We have like no switch-ins to this thing. However, you yeah, know we lose. <laughs> that's 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 kind of a major oversight. I think maybe we should have an Incineroar or something on this team, some kind of dark type. I'm thinking, uh, Lando could be okay. And not really. Gorilla Boom. Lando could be okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what my, <laughs> my running crunch, I should be, I should really be running crunch for play rough. I should really be running crunch. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Uh, one would assume I can just close combat and electroweb. I think the close combat might KO. I can also... I'm an electroweb. I don't think... I'll just protect. I'm probably going to get faked out. Yeah. One shot? <laughs> okay. No, no. I feel good. I feel good. I have to be careful with this thing, though. Okay, never mind. I have to be careful now. Uh, I suppose here I would go into my Rillaboom. And I'm willing to Volt Switch. Actually, you know, if I Electroweb in close combat the Weavile, I think I end up winning with Stack Attack or Rillaboom. Because I don't lose... I mean, I might lose the Zamazenta here. But then I just bring in, like, Stack Attack and Wide Guard and stuff. I'll try it. I'll try it. As long as I get the speed drop right here. Ooh, okay. Uh, it's Scarf. So that's a thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's... I mean, actually, that's that's not terrible. No, that's actually much easier. Now that I think about it. Because um, now what I do is I Volt Switch into my Rillaboom in Trick Room. Actually, I just give them the Reggie like you, don't I? They don't beat this. Yeah, they really don't if I Trick Room here. I'll just, like, Thunderbolt for damage. It's not going to KO me. I get the crit, too, so it didn't matter. That's funny. There are a lot of Scarf Calyrex nowadays. Crit mattered, GG. I bet it did. GG. I, I, yeah, I mean, he kind of needed a crit to knock out Stack Attacka, and then he would have lost anyways if I land, like, a single Rock Slide, so I don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Rock Slide, Protect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now I feel bad for being snarky. 
<laughs> Way to make me feel bad for being snarky. Okay, I get a crit on the Indeedee too, which is kind of funny. Is he low kick? Because then I'll feel bad. We should relax on that, it didn't matter. Alright, Gyro Ball. Bolt Switch. I mean, I suppose I can reveal Rillaboom, but it doesn't really matter. GG's. Cool. Got that one. Okay. Make sure you go full screen. There we go. Let me turn off chat on this. I guess I can keep it on. I don't really care. Ooh, I've seen this. I've seen this. This is going to be scary. However, Boneless Zamazenta honestly doesn't hate the matchup. Boneless Zamazenta is kind of based here. A little based. Actually, I can probably lead off Boneless Zamazenta plus um, Stack Attack, and that's better. Lando in the back. Um, do I go Protective Pads or Urshifu here? I think Urshifu's not bad, but Regieleki also isn't bad. I'm kind of I'm kind of stuck here. Uh, Rillaboom's also not terrible. I'll go I'll go Urshifu. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. Um, I should be able to wide guard and just like close combat this Groudon for like 200. They should be able to land like a Hurricane and I can take whatever. I could also technically go into Lando here and be just as safe. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll go into Lando. It's a little safer. I don't. I can't get like Stomping Tantrum or like Earth Powered or some BS. There's a lot. Weather by ow. Yeah, I could have wide guarded. I could have wide guarded. Plus, it doesn't really matter now. Um, can you just trick room earth power? Is I, I guess I trick room grass knot actually. Can't really stop it. Dang, I should have just wide guarded. It would have been so much safer. I'm stupid. All right. Weather ball does a ton. Oh my god. Luckily, most of his team is weak to rock slide. That's kind of that's gonna be kind of big here. See if I can pull like a double KO here. Or any any flinch helps. Honestly, I think I live whatever from Cheerum unless it's like Solar Blade, which they usually are. No one shot. Can I flinch? Flinch? Solar Blade. There it is. Goodbye. Oh, wait. No. No, that's fine. That's fine. They're both within range of Rock Sled. They're both within range of Rock Sled. And everything's weak to Earth Power, so I can just lock myself into Earth Power on the Cheerum, and I'm fine. If they Solar Bladed that thing, it would have actually made a difference. All right. Getting attack boost here. Even if it's like... Incineroar, I'm probably okay. Alright, it's Entei. No, uh, that's fine. That's fine. My Rock Slide should double KO. And these things are typically Scarf. Just connect the Rock Slide. Just connect. Just connect. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Stack Attack. -a. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Get a nice little win there. Unfortunate. The Lando, I believe, is modest. Oh, I thought you were going to ask modest or timid. Yeah, it's modest. Oh, no, it's timid. Timid because uh, you have to run timid to outspeed Calyrex, I believe. Unless I'm stupid and I forgot. Okay. Luckily, we do have a move that actually hits Shed Ninja on a few Pokemon. 149. Let me double check. Can I run Modest? Yeah, no, I have to be timid. Alright. Uh, I mean, I'm fine leading off with Boneless.
All right, let's do this. If they lead off with Tornadus Kyogre, they should feel comfortable just going for their move. And then I get a double KO. Probably. Stack attack uh, in the end game seems pretty bad, all things considered. Um, dang, I really, I kind of have to bring it just to make sure I don't lose to this. I hate that I have to respect this thing on preview. That's the worst part about playing Shit Ninja is just respecting it on preview and sometimes bringing a bad Pokemon because of it. Okay. Uh, luckily, not a terrible lead for me. Not a terrible lead. My main priority is going to be getting rid of this Zarina, so I'm ready and willing just to close combat and Volt Switch into it. Even if I get faked out on either one of these, at the very least, I got damage. I don't really care much for Hitmontop. Dude, I almost ran Utility Umbrella Urshifu. <laughs> Utility Umbrella Urshifu. Because <laughs> I thought it'd be funny. Wait, what? Yeah, wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> Did he forget to click a move? This should still be doing a ton. Alright. Can I get rid of you, like, immediately? <whistles> okay. Alright, amazing. They made a really poor decision there. Uh, and I'm going to capitalize on it. I should be able to... Do I just double into it? I mean, I could Volt Switch on the Hitmontop. I don't really... I don't want to lose my, my Zamazenta yet. And Thunderbolt definitely doesn't KO AV's Arena. Kind of have to go for it. it sucks. In case they do go into, like, Kyogre, at the very least, I catch it with this. Oh, well, pff, worst possible play made by yours truly. Uh, that should be in range of this, though. I think it does enough? That's pretty much neutral, right? Man. I mean, that's effectively neutral. It probably doesn't KO. I'm probably just throwing hard. This game, I'm probably just throwing hard. Alright. You love to see it. You love to see it. That's within Gyro Ball range, so I can go into Rillaboom here in Gyro Ball. And I think even if they go into Hitmontop, it isn't the end of the world. Because I get to keep my Zam. Did they not even bring the Kyogre? There's no- They didn't even bring the Kyogre! There's no Kyogre in the back! There's just no Kyogre! The Kyogre doesn't exist! Can I KO, please? Thank you. Okay. There's no Kyogre! <laughs> What's up, Moxie? I just started following today. I love your YouTube content. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't bring the Kyogre to this matchup. Like, like all things considered, give me one reason not to bring Kyogre to the matchup. Oh, I, I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder who he will fake out. He would hammer you. What if he ally switches? Dude, what if he ally switches? Dang it. Uh, I'll go. I'm willing to sack this thing. All right, close combat. Hey, thank you for the Ray Dragon or Jordan. The X Scissor. I get rid of the Hitmontop this turn. 100% certain. Guaranteed. No questions asked. And yeah, no, I think I win now. Uh, ah, crap, there's two turns left to Trick Room. I don't think that's enough. Um... My best bet is to hope I'm slower than this arena. And I'm actually going to U-turn on the Shed Ninja, hoping that they go for an ally switch for some reason. And lock myself into Crunch. I haven't locked myself into anything yet, right? No, I did not. Okay. Yeah. Ally switch. Do it. Ally switch. You know you want to. Ally switch. <laughs> they didn't ally switch. Okay, at the very least, um, I won. Probably. Probably. Yeah, no, no, I should win. Uh, they have no way of outspeeding me unless they have glide, which is possible. But a rock slide should double KO and they can't avoid it. Okay, let's see. Uh... Don't miss, please. No BS, don't crash. I 
I'm just vibing to the music right now. Just hoping I land my rock slide. And either one of these, really, either one. Come on. Connect. <laughs> Okay, I connected on Zarina. Dude. Not cool. Not cool, campers. Okay, um... I mean, they haven't revealed Ally Switch yet, but you have to assume they have it, so I still rock slide. I lose to High Jump Kick, though, if they have it, which they should. It's very hard to not run High Jump Kick on this thing. Unless they're running Grassy Glide, which I have no idea why they wouldn't just click it the previous turn. Oh, they got Power Whip. Okay, I won. Why is this happening? Can you miss, please? Can you miss? Can I just... <laughs> please? <laughs> Can you just miss your Power Whip or your Chipple... Whatever move you go for, like... I just have to land this rock slide on both of you. I have to survive and land a rock slide. That's it. That's all. You don't have the damage output. And you're probably running ally switch anyways, so. I'm so upset. I'm so upset by that battle. Wow. Right there. Uh, this guy, um... Alright. I thought I had that one locked down. I really thought I did. So, uh... I think... I think that... Zam... Aleki's still pretty good. Bring the Lando, the stack. Actually, no, I'll just, I didn't reveal wide guard last game. I'll just go Lando stack, bring the, or Lando stack, uh, Zam stack, bring the Lando. Rillaboom. Okay, uh, easy wide guard, honestly, and I can get rid of this Entei now. You know, you know they're gonna eruption, right? Actually, wouldn't it make more sense to get to get rid of the Groudon? If I know that this is Scarf, which it probably is, then it's locked and it can't beat me if I just Yeah. So if they make the wrong if they make the wrong play here, I'm fine. They run Flare Blade. Yeah, but a lot of them run Eruption too, you know? Maybe, please. Ow. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um Check this out, check this out. Boom, I can get a double KO here if I play my cards right. If I play my cards right, I can get a double KO. I'm gonna rock slide. There's no way they P-Blades again. I'm gonna rock slide. You're not gonna do it again, right? Just connect, just connect. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I always get in my Rillaboom here because I just fake out Trick Room. Oh yeah, no, this is, I think we're good. Fake out Trick Room. Solar Blade shouldn't KO me. Oh, it might, hold on, it might. Give me a moment. No, um, plus one. Yeah, okay, they just forfeit anyways. That could have been really bad. I think the Solar Blade with Flower Gift with like Grass, it might actually KO. That could have been really bad. How come you're using Zamazenta? I wanted to make, I wanted to use Zamazenta. That's the only reason. Okay. Um. I think Urshfu Aleki isn't too bad. Honestly, no, I can, there's no reason not to lead off with Boneless Zam. Like literally it hits everything except for the Volcarona and I just, I just don't have to touch it, you know? 
Uh, they have very little for stack attack except for an earth power from either one of these two, but beyond that, it's pretty good anyways. And I think my for my last Pokemon, uh, I can probably go with Leki. You know, Leki's fine. Yeah. This is a great lead for me. I'm just going to eliminate Kiram. They have no switch-ins to this. Um, yeah, no, I see no reason not to just click the move. Give me your Kiram. I mean, they could go into Volcarona, but even then, it's going to take like 50% and then they just KO it with Urshifu. Bye. Okay, I think that's game. That, that's pretty much game, honestly. Yeah, no, there's the scissor. Uh, this is in range of that, that's in range of that. Good game. Bullet punch. <laughs> that was life for a bullet punch. Bye. Yeah. Awesome. Amazing. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I have to get caught up on a lot of things with the format. I've been pretty inactive in terms of actually playing it. I've mostly just been, like, watching. Um, and I learn better playing than I do watching, honestly. I know there are some people who are the opposite, which is why I have subscribers, but... <laughs> they made a mistake watching me. Um, let me see. This is interesting. It's like... It's like, it's almost like Pelipper serves no purpose on this team. But that would be stupid, right? There's no way anyone would do that. I like the Aleki Rillaboom lead. How's the team so far? Garbage, but still fun. Which is all I can ask for. Okay, yeah. Uh, da 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 you can get rid of Hitmontop pretty easily. Uh, I think Wimscott's a little bit more priority, but it's still worth it. Really. I think my play here is going to be fake out Hitmontop. I should be faster too. Which went first? Yeah, that went first. It's likely they're just going to Tailwind anyway, so I can just do that. Yeah. Like, I don't lose much. I'd rather just let them get their Tailwind off and then deal with it in a minute. Uh, good chance they have, like, Triple Axe on this thing. Pretty good chance they do. Also, a uh, potential for Faint. More likely than not, they don't go for a Triple Axe onto a Regieleki. So I'll Woodhammer here, just get the KO. I could Grassy Glide, but it's definitely not KOing at minus one on a Hitmontop. But Woodhammer has potential, too. Every time I make a team, stack attack, it has to be the restricted. So many teams in this metagame, if you want to use, like, a bad restricted, stack attack is, like, almost a necessity. Just because most of the bad restricteds happen to be dragon types or Zamazenta. Uh, and you, you need something to beat Xerneas consistently. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. So, I think here, I uh, should be able to U-turn on this Whimsicott. Get him my Lucky. Break a Sash. Probably not, you know, permanently, but well enough. One would assume they'd go for the Lando here. Back in the Lando. And assuming they fake out the Lando... Protect. Go into Rillaboom. Because Rillaboom's honestly not too useful in this game beyond Fake Out. And as long as they stay in with this Hitmontop, um, I should be good to go. I, I'd actually really like it if I could lose my Rillaboom here. Not quite. Not lucky enough. Not lucky enough. Um, but I can now go for the Thunderbolts into Grassy Glide, and that might do it. I could also Bolt Switch. See if they go into the Whimsicott, or Volcarona. Okay, that's fine. As long as I don't get burned, that's fine. Awesome. 
Uh... Oh no, I feel OBS crashing. Okay, yeah, I got no idea why it keeps doing that. I really have no clue, but I'll do my best to understand it someday. Uh, I should be able to fake out and sludge bomb this. Maybe, I mean, I'm probably gonna get rage powdered anyways, but if I can somehow, oh my God, I'm an idiot. Guys, I foregore. It was the stream crash. <laughs> it made me forget what I was doing. It made me forget what turn I was on, honestly. But we're back. Hopefully it doesn't do that for a while. I'm gonna have to figure out what's, I'm, I'm gonna do like a PC cleanup and see if that helps. All right, uh, so now it's a matter of surviving enough turns for this tailwind to go away. That's really all it is. Okay. That's fine, I'm freaking special. Okay. Are they running faint though? Really hope they're not. I mean, technically it's in my best. Nah, I, I always get rid of you first. All right, uh, here for my next trick, for my next trick, I will win the game. Behold, all I have to do is avoid a burn on my Zamazenta and I probably win. So the switch that I'm gonna make here is, I let the Lando go down and I get in Zam, cause, cause I guaranteed land, I'm guaranteed to get Lando uh, to faint here. Yeah, so I attack, uh, I go for you. Going to Zam. Okay, yeah. I, I win. I win. As long as I don't have, like, Mach Punch, I win. And here's why. I Thunderbolt here, lock myself into close combat onto the Hitmon top, and barring any kind of priority move here, I should be able to win. Because all I have to land is Electro into close combat. Please Wide Guard. Please Wide Guard for no reason. Or just stay in, either one. Wide guard. You know you want a wide guard. Ah, he goes into Zacian Crown. That's still a win. That's still a win. Because I have a pretty good chance of knocking it out. Okay, okay. Not the end of the world. I'd literally just protect here. And Thunderbolt. And then I win. Yeah, protect. Go into Rillaboom. Hopefully they don't have faint. There's a good chance they have faint. Okay, incredible. Incredible. Uh, I'm guaranteed to be faster here. So I, I don't even bother electroiving. I just Thunderbolt in close combat. And that should seal the deal. There's no way they live a Thunderbolt from this range. They'd have to be like a super, super special defensive version. Uh, my close combat definitely KOs this Hitmon top. We're choice banded. Yes! <laughs> Got him. Got him. Okay. GG's. Boneless Zamazenta strikes again. As they just leave, they just say, yeah, I'm not playing this. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I will not lose to your... To your to your Z or to your Zamagenta team. I am a Zacian player. Go away. Freaking ads. Okay. Add a game. The only ad I want is to add another game under the Zamazenta's belt. Even though we lost a lot of games, winning with Zamazenta feels pretty good. Oh, this is pretty interesting. Indeedy Mail plus Rain plus Dialga. 
five, four, three, two, one, and I win. Awesome. All right. So, by the way, after this, I'm actually going to be starting a new series. You guys are going to love this new series, by the way. Half of the stream is going to be this, and then the other half is going to be a um, new series. Hmm. I'm just going to Reggie Lucky here. Honestly, I'm willing to go Reggie Lucky Zamazenta, Rillaboom in the back. And do I go? Land do I dare go Lando? I think I go Lando. Okay. That's fine. Um, I should be able to do Electroweb here. I should live this hit. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you uh, finding my channel. Oh, they know not what they have done. They know not what they have done. They have lost their only offensive pressure against my team. Good night. That Dialgo's not living a choice band in close combat. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just going to put that out there for you guys. This thing also doesn't have follow me. Another thing just to put out there. Um, do I bet that this thing's not gonna, it, it's gonna protect here. There's no way you don't protect. There's no way he doesn't protect. He didn't protect. I could have gotten rid of the Dialga. Okay, not the end of the world. Uh, I still have Lando. Cause I get a freaking phone call. Give me a second. And there's the Pelipper. Uh, I mean, I can just make a pretty simple read here. One would assume the Pelipper Sash, um, and I should just be able to win by doing this. Two shot, don't be weakness policy. Yeah, it doesn't KO. Awesome, that should be game then, since I should be faster than a max speed Pelipper. Am I? Actually, don't know. I really hope I am. I don't feel like getting tailwinded on and losing. I mean, the, the Landorus is faster. How much did I do? 51%. This is safer. They haven't protected once. I'm going to assume it's Assault Vest. Okay, yeah. Uh, and now I just win. Yeah, Grassy Glide. I'll let this thing go down. Doesn't matter. Yeah, good game. GG. Interesting. Dialga's really bad. <laughs>